Maddox looked very messy in there. This goal has the ball, though. Squally goes into midfield. Here he is, takes the ball. He's carried pretty well since he's come on, showing that freshness that Italy definitely need. They do look very tired defensively. Giovanni again. He wants a try. He's worked really hard on this game in attack and defence. Let's go. Look again, Hamish Watson getting over that ball. Does he get the clamp in? Not quite. Fusco, chance on the outside here, that inside ball is beautiful, and there's the footwork we told you to look out for, Angie Cupoozzo on his debut for Italy. Footwork, he looks like he's only just out of mini rugby, he's proper baby-faced assassin, and on this occasion here, Brex gives him the ball, gets the ball into the wide channel early, Padovani okay. understands that the defence has him covered with Kyle Stain, but there's Kyle Stain's inside <laughs> defender is a little bit away. I think it's Alan Dell, okay and from now, there you. you just see the footwork from Cabo. What's that? Gets beyond Stuart Hogg, dives. Advantage to Italy. Just advantage for the knock-on and the tackle. Advantage over. Well, the advantage is over. Good tackle by Gilchrist, but Zanon did well to make half a metre again. Pasquale's been really busy since he came off the bench. Is there a way through this Scottish D as directed and coached by Steve Tandy? Let's go once more. It's the little fella again, Capuzzo. Gets support from Lamaro. Here's Gorbisi. This is good rugby. Federico Ruzza. Magnus Bradbury with a tackle. Stuart Hogg has to help him. Fusco is copying out so good again, another one! Oh, can you believe that? On his debut, the 22-year-old customer, he's diminutive to say the least. But heavens above, can he finish? And he's in the right place at the right time again. Look at the work done by Rutsa through the middle of that Scottish defence, putting him under all sorts of pressure. But again, it's that step, just takes out the Scottish defence. First of all, Giancarlo Nicotera and the Italian line need to line find out, their sorry, men, and they do. Lamaro be captain no. is the man who claims the ball, and the hooker, Nicotera, is in at the back, and they have advantage because that ball was collapsed by France. The blind. And the blind side is a little bit open, and Capuzzo! <laughs> and get Capuzzo! And it is very much game on well, at the Stadio Olympic. They're playing suicide rugby on times, but I tell you what, when they had to be clinical and when they had to do something and make that decision to go into the corner, you have to score, and they've done it. Here's Zuliani. Brex powering his way, looking for the offload. It wasn't available. Canoni. Italy have to be precise here. Lucchese, surely this time, Capuozzo! Italy have scored. The unthinkable has become possible. Well, I talked about the flick, the switch flicking, and they've certainly done that. That is a phenomenal passage of play. Again, the concentration, the precision you talked about, I talked about. Just the combination of backs, they didn't panic. Holding the ball up, popping the ball off the back, ball coming out the back. That angle of, of, of run, superb there initially from a very impressive Menocelli. Cello normally plays in the centre. Look at there, again, you've got to try a little bit of risk. They've done it back inside, holding players. Stop this French defence, this suffocating French defence. Well, they couldn't on that occasion. And the Toulouse guy who plays in an Italian shirt at 15 has just uh, given them an amazing chance. They've got a hard conversion to follow but you've got 10 minutes to go